Welcome back Awakening Beauties, so happy to have you with me. If this is your first time joining me, I give you a hearty welcome. This channel is the intersection of fashion, beauty, health, and lifestyle. I cover a wide range of topics on this channel. I do a lot of declutters and organizing videos, and I also love beauty. I'm a fashion designer by trade, so I love to talk about fashion, how to make the most of your closet, even if you're trying to do a minimal closet. I've done 30-day wardrobe challenges where I'm trying to use all my clothes. But this video is sort of in the lifestyle range because I want to talk about failure. Aww or losing and why it's a good thing to experience losing or failure. I mean, it's true. None of us want to experience a failure or losing at something. Most of us want to succeed. And of course, it's healthy to want to succeed. But I want to talk about, because I was thinking about this subject a little bit, and then I heard a podcast with Dr. Jordan Peterson. And he was talking to another psychologist and why it's actually a good thing for children to experience losing. Oh, okay, well, there's something else. So we could add to the litany of ways to teach your children to be neurotic the following. Okay, so let's deem all competition inappropriate. Okay, so any competitive enterprise is inappropriate. Okay, so why would we do that? Well, there is a thrill in victory, but there is a catastrophe in defeat, right? And there's negative emotion associated with defeat. And then you might say as well that the positive emotion associated with victory is morally untenable because it comes at someone else's expense. So that's an extension of the victim-victimizer narrative. Okay, so now you eradicate competition. All right, so why, so in favor, hypothetically, of cooperation, whatever, you get rid of competitive games, for example, or, or you dissuade them. So now what's the consequence of that? Well, we might say, well, why do you teach why do you encourage children to play competitive games? And you might say, well, they can develop the skills, it's fun, and they have the possibility of winning. But here's a better theory. It teaches them to lose, right? It teaches them that, that you do lose. It teaches them that you can lose. It teaches them that you can lose gracefully without a catastrophe, and then you can get up on your feet and you congratulate the winners and you can go on playing. Okay, so now imagine all of that's been taken away from you, right? Right up to the time you're 18. You've never failed in your bloody life. And so now you're terrified of it because you think that at the bottom of the failure pit is nothing but utter insanity. Well, now that's true for you because you're a complete novice at failing. How the hell are you going to take a risk? Here's a proposition for you. There's no difference between being a gracious loser and being resilient. They're the same thing. And a lot of times nowadays, the way that the school systems are set up, everybody's a winner and how maybe that's not a great thing because kids aren't learning certain skills and certain things that they need to be able to take into life as they go on to further education, to college, to careers. And so I was thinking about this subject and then I heard this podcast and just wanted to talk about why it's a good thing to experience losing. Reasons why losing is a good thing. Well, the first reason is that it teaches us resilience. Resilience is the capacity to withstand or recover quickly from difficulties. Also, toughness. So when, when things don't work out the way that we expect they will, because a lot of times in life, being resilient allows us to, as it the saying goes, pick ourselves up by our bootstraps, that we're able to keep going and not lose hope and know that we can start over again if we have to actually start over. And sometimes we do. Sometimes things work out so badly that, you know, whether we lose a job or maybe we have to file for bankruptcy, we might even lose a house or car, that we are resilient, that we can overcome this situation. Having smaller losses in our life can prepare us for bigger losses and sometimes bigger losses do happen and for most of us we do experience a lot of small losses but then we sometimes experience some big losses too. So having the experience of losing helps us to develop real resiliency so that we can overcome 
anything that life throws our way. Second reason why loss is good is because just the way that we are neurally programmed from thousands of years, millions of years of evolution, that we learn more from our failures than from our successes. When something bad happens, those memories get neurally wired into us and they have a much greater impact than the positive things that happen. Just think about when someone has said something negative to you that people could have said, and maybe even that person, hundreds of great things to you, but that one negative thing that they said to you is what you're going to remember. Well, it's kind of the same way with experiencing a loss or failure, that that experience is very painful and profound and that it will stick in our memory much more strongly than our wins, our successes. So we actually learn more about ourselves, about what not to do <laughs> from our failures than from our successes. The third reason a failure can be a good thing is because it can pivot us into a new direction. We may have been working on something that was very important to us, like building a business, for example. And maybe deep down, we knew that our heart wasn't really in it and we were just kind of grinding away to try to make it successful even though it really wasn't fulfilling it wasn't fulfilling wasn't really the thing that we wanted to be doing with our life and experiencing a failure can give us a reset so that we change what we're doing change directions maybe we decide to go in a completely different path this actually happened to me uh, i was working at a newspaper this is many many years ago back in like 2006 and I I thought that I would enjoy the job and I uh, thought I would find it very interesting but it was kind of the opposite I kind of hated working there it was just a very cold environment the person that I was working directly under was sort of a, a narcissist and a psychological manipulator and I, I really, I was like, after the first couple of weeks, I thought, man, I don't know how much longer I'm going to last here. And I told my husband, I don't think I, I'm going to stay here for very long. And I really wanted to quit. And it, so eventually it culminated because you're under, when you started there, you're under an eight week probationary period where they can let you go for any reason. And it got to be about week seven. And I was like, man, I should probably, I think I need to quit. And I didn't quit. And I ended up for the first and only time in my life, I got fired. And I actually felt, although I felt I had a sort of, um, I felt that failure. I felt like, wow, I failed at this. This is the first time I've ever been fired from a job. But then with within that same day, I took that to be as a blessing that, that that job was not meant for me. And it was that day that I called the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale where I ended up enrolling the next day to start my fashion design classes. So um, that failure turned me into a different direction where I went, the thing that I was always interested in, always wanted to do was fashion design. And so that experience really was the motivator for me to enroll back into college and to get my degree in fashion design. Losing is also a good thing because it teaches us how to be happy for other people's wins. So in back to the example of children and in sports in their school, that by learning how to be good losers, by losing, you know, someone has to lose at a game, that it teaches them sportsmanship, how to be a good loser, how to be gracious, and to be happy for other people's wins. And in life, it might sometimes feel hard to feel happy for someone who has gotten something that you wanted. Maybe they got the promotion that you wanted. But I found that it's really important to be happy for people when they have wins. And even if it feels like you lost out on something because Eventually it's going to be your turn and wouldn't you want them to be happy for you and not to feel bitter or jealous or envious of you? I also feel like we're constantly manifesting things in our life that exactly where we are right now is where we are because we have manifested that and that if we're feeling happy for other people's successes, 
then we're actually attracting more success into our life. So be a good loser. Be a good loser. Be happy for other people when they get something. Don't feel like something was taken from you. Nothing can be taken from you that wasn't yours already. So no opportunity can be taken for, from you that wasn't yours already. No job can be taken that wasn't yours and was meant for you. So I do really believe that things happen when they're meant to and at the time that they're meant to happen. So be happy for other people's successes. So the fifth reason that failure is a good thing is because it gives us the opportunity, sort of going back to the other point that I was talking about, how I had to pivot after I got let go from that job, but it gives us the opportunity to do some soul searching and to think about what we want in life. Sometimes we're, we're just going, 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 grinding, 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 and we're not taking the time to really think about, is this bringing me fulfillment in life? Is this sort of my soul's purpose? Am, am I doing what I feel like, you know, if you believe in God, like, are you doing what God put you on this earth to do? Or are you doing what is aligned with your values? Do you have a greater purpose? Are there talents that you have that you're not using, that you could be using towards a career that is more fulfilling for you, that is more beneficial to other people. Maybe a career to make more money. So a lot of things can come from examining our failures and it's a good thing to reflect on what led us to that failure, what is, what is that failure there to teach me? And actually we can kind of see it, I believe we can see it as a gift. That failure is actually a gift because it's direct communication from the universe that our lives are either out of balance, we're not aligned with our true values, we're not aligned with what our purpose is, that it, it's actually not what we're supposed to be doing with our life. So sixth reason that failure is a good thing is that it helps us to appreciate the wins that we have, or at least it should help us to appreciate the wins that we have. If you've gone through a lot of, you know, those down, 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 down valleys and not so many ups that when the ups actually do happen, I find that it's even more sweet when the good thing actually does happen, that we want it to happen, that we worked hard for. So I think that failure is beneficial in that way, that it helps us to really appreciate when things go the way that we wanted them to and that we worked hard for and it worked out the way that we had hoped it would, or maybe better than we had hoped it would. And then we can thank all of those times in the past where we didn't succeed because it led us here to where we're at now. And I love this quote from Thomas Edison. You know, Thomas Edison was an amazing inventor, had hundreds of not, I don't even know how many patents he had. He had a lot of patents. And of course he was the inventor of the modern light bulb. So he's failed thousands of times in his experiment to create a light bulb. And he famously said that I've not failed 10,000 times. I successfully found 10,000 ways it will not work. <laughs> and I remember, uh, I think it, it might've been, who was it? Some other famous person that I remember him saying that he goes, you've not failed until you quit until you quit trying, you haven't actually failed. It's only when you quit that you've failed. You've just found different ways of not doing something. <laughs> Can you quit at some point trying something that's just not working? Yes. In fact, many times that happens and that's okay too. If it really isn't going to bring you happiness and be your life's path, it's okay to pivot and do something completely different. I don't believe that just because we've worked hard for something, maybe it's a business, maybe it's, you have a restaurant or something and it's just not working out. And I, I don't believe that we have to hold on by tooth and nail just because we worked so hard for it. At some point, it's okay to let something go. And when we do, going back to some of the points I already brought up, it allows something new to manifest into our life. That maybe is the thing that we were supposed to do all along. But we needed that failure and we needed to be able to let it, that thing go. 
in order for the new thing to come into our life. I'm thinking about this because I, I feel like I've had failure in my life. And, and some of that failure prompted me to do a no buy year last year because I had failed to save the money for retirement that I probably should have saved by now. I had failed to pay off the debt that I had wanted to have paid off by the time I turned 50. I failed in other ways with my own health and my weight and my body. So, you know, I, I, I'm looking at all of that, but trying to look at it all as a gift of like it being information for me to examine and work on myself and work on my higher self, work on my spiritual self, that all of this is related. So all of that to say that I do wish all of you success, but we do fail from time to time and it's okay. It's no reason to beat ourselves up. We can be resilient and pick ourselves up by our bootstraps and start again, or just keep going. And every day is a new day to make better decisions. So I thank you for watching and it really means a lot to me that you've spent this time with me. And until next time, just remember, take good care of yourself. Be proud of where you are in life because you've come a long way and you've been through a lot and I'm proud of you and I love you and you're doing great.